Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I'm back with a quick project share. Um, I was trying to smash the stash if you didn't see my video before this where, you know, I, I didn't make it. <laughs> I had way too much of this collection. I, there's still a ton more to go and I just had to call it quits because I need to get on some design team projects. But I got this collection from Country Craft Creations, and it is um, Echo Parks. It's a boy, and it's an older collection. If there is still some for Country Craft Creations, I will link it, but you're not going to want this collection. You're going to want the brand new one because it's so cute. Oh, my goodness. So um, I will link that below as well, and I did show just on my iPad what that new collection looked like. On the previous video but it's so cute so this is I don't know like what should we call this like a, a remake a rick a rick a remake I don't know what remakes <laughs> I know you guys think that I have to do like some stuff I shouldn't be doing or drink I don't I'm just crazy it's and that's probably a good thing that I don't because who knows what that could look like but I already have this tutorial on my channel um, I think the original is done with a Christmas version um, and then I did show before Christmas time I think it was November a baby one that I did in this collection with the baby girl so I kind of just mimicked you know it was the same little teddy bear but it was in the pinks it was really I love that collection it's so pretty um, but I did use I'm trying to think maybe this isn't I don't know if this is no I don't remember no it can't be um, but it is a gray base I got the collection like I said from country craft creations and I just took a 4x4 popped it up I have white and the mint kind of tealy color going throughout here is the spine in the back looks like this here and I have been seeing, because this is from um, my series with Carolina's Crafts for um, Scrappy Christmas Crafts that we are going to continue to do this year. We're just behind schedule. And that's just how it's going to be, peeps. Because I told her I can't have, I can't have crafting stress me out. That's my, like, stress-free zone. So it comes when it comes. Um, but there's been a lot of people that have made this version and it's so cute. So you guys really should check out the hashtag scrappy Christmas crafts with a K, um, to see some of the versions and get different ideas and inspiration. But I have a little photo mat here. I don't know, um, if I did this from the tutorial, I think it was just scraps off the table. So it's a four by four, four by five, Tiffany, slow your roll. And then this is just a chipboard piece and then a little which I can never get out I don't know why I have this in here because I can never grab it it's just from the cut apart sheet I just stuck it in there <laughs> and I do have magnets going throughout the album it's pretty basic I kept it very minimal with the uh, embellishments but um, you do have a sticker mounted on some cardstock for a little tuck spot and then you have another cut apart that you could actually journal on as well. And then this is from the sticker sheet too. But you can have that in there. You could switch it up. If you have this collection, do it like that, however you want. And then it opens up like this, which I love just, you know, when there's little layouts, it's so cute. And then both of these do have magnetic closures and I did use my Stampin' Up! tab punch for this. But use whatever punch or die you have if, look, check this out. If you get any of the planner dies from Country Craft Creations, you have a little die in there that you can make that. So just saying. And I have been wanting a longer one. I got to remember, though, on things like this, I need to leave it out and not with the set so that I can use it for other things. But have some photo spots here. This is a weird size, I'm sure. Five by five? Oh, five by five. And just goes in. And then this is a four by four cut apart. And again, these little folios. Oh my gosh. 
they I'm just I'm just gonna say it. these little folios fit so many pictures still so you don't even have to do this little page insert that I have um, I think uh, that yeah in the original tutorial I did have an insert but I did the scoring different so it will lay a little bit flatter it won't on this side because this side I have stuffed full of things um, but it doesn't poke out as much as the, t the tutorial so one, you don't have to do this, and if you don't do it, I would make my spine smaller unless you had like big flowers or something. I think the spine is one and a quarter, one and a half, one and a half. So I would make it one inch if you don't want this. And then this piece, it is five, five and a half by 12, and I score it at five and three eighths, yeah. So just trying to see where you guys, nope, nope. No, no. Can you see that? I don't know. Man, I <laughs> I keep looking at these cameras and I'm I really need to get these glasses going. Five and three eighths. And then for the gusset, I score again at five and three quarters. And then that is your middle like hinge to attach to the spine. So then score at six and a quarter and then six and five eighths. So five and three eighths. Five and three fourths, or six and a quarter, or five and th <laughs> yeah, <laughs> five and three eighths, five and three quarters, six and a quarter, six and five eighths. Hey, this is just you know how my videos go. Just gotta roll with it. Um, and I do put some um, cardstock on here just to really help reinforce and keep that nice and sturdy over time. And I just glue the spine down. But again, you don't have to do this. So um, I took some of you know, the enamel dots. This is left open to tuck a photo. And you have, again, it's really simple. Just did a little, little doodads over here. And then you have a three by four cut apart, which I think in the tutorial, I think I have it going that direction. But see, you could do whatever you want, peeps, whatever you want. And you guys know I like to share my tiff tips because I don't like cutting into new paper if I don't have to. This piece did not go all the way down. You can make a pocket. I just took the border strip, flipped it, did it that way. I would have did it like this, but um, it showed like where the white didn't go all the way down, you know, like right here on the curve. So I flipped it. whoop de doo And then on this one, I put it the other way. Just saying. <laughs> I was not cutting into a new piece of paper. And then you have um, just a little waterfall area here, like that. And I think these two, I did like, I'm trying to look. Yeah, I did like Michelle Allen's, where she's just amazing. Um, so this is four, four and a quarter by nine. And then you score at four and a quarter. And then, so four and a quarter, and then four and three quarters. And I glued that down. Then I took another piece because I, I only have three on here. If it was four, I would have did it differently. Um, this one is four and three quarters. And then you score it a half inch. And I flipped it, you know, so it went this way and there, was, there wasn't any here. So it's just nice and clean. And again, I use a little um, border strip at the bottom of the paper because why waste those little strips that are on your cutting desk? But there you go. I just, I'm so cute. I love making baby albums. I don't get to make them enough, but I actually need to make some. Um, and I always forget this. I'm just gonna show you. I have for this tutor tutorial, which I never do it because I forget. This is open for photo mats <laughs> on both sides, literally wide open. And your girl forgets to put something in it every time. I was on this one. Okay, I'm gonna remember. I'm gonna remember. And then here comes the video. Negative, I'm telling ya. But there you go. Let me know as always what you guys think, as long as it's positive. We don't need any like negative haters around here. Just keep that to yourself. Um, but <laughs> let me know what you guys think. If you have this collection, if you're gonna make this, if you're gonna get the new collection. And if you do, I'm so jealous. I'm, I'm really, I'm trying hard not to. I don't think it's going to work. 
I'm just kind of hoping she might sell out before I can even get it because it is going fast. Like, y'all better buy it soon if you do want it. But, yeah, there it is. I'm going to get going making some of my other videos for you so you guys have lots of stuff this weekend to look at. Thank you guys so much. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure that you do so you can see future projects. Thanks for watching. Bye.